Hi friends, welcome in, Harji here. Now in this video, I will be reviewing the Dark Rock Slim, which is an air cooler for your CPU by Be Quiet. And uh, this video is not just going to be a review, this cooler has been around for a while. So um, people have done reviews on it already, but I'm still gonna go over it on my channel. Now, the main point of this video isn't just going to be reviewing the cooler, it's really to investigate different fan setups for this cooler and also other coolers that are similar to it uh, to see which cooling solution is best. So we have dual fan push pull versus single fan push versus single fan pull. So I wanted to, like I was just curious for myself, like initially I just bought two fans because I wanted the symmetry, I want the aesthetics for this build. And yes, I knew initially that there would be a difference in, or a benefit in, in terms of the cooling, but I didn't know how much. And peop, some people were asking in the comments, like, is it really worth getting an extra fan for this cooler? So I wanted to go ahead and get some numbers and share it with you guys. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, when designing your desktop or room setup, it's important to have some flavor and display.com can help with that. Whether you're a minimalist who goes for abstract artwork, like these landscape paintings and geometric animals, or you prefer something more colorful, like superheroes from DC and the MCU, they've got you covered. But wait, there's more. If you're into video games like me, there are a ton of options as well. And also, don't miss out on some of their motivational quotes if you need some positive vibes anywhere around the house. And I mean anywhere. Use my affiliate link down below to learn more and automatic discount at checkout if you want to show some love for this channel. Thank you so much and I ultra appreciate you. The Dark Rock Slim is a very thin and low profile CPU air cooler. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's great for small form factor builds such as a mini ITX like the one you see here in my personal PC. At the time of filming this, I was able to buy it off of Amazon for about 60 US dollars. Let's go over some of the specs as well as the physical features. The overall height of the cooler is about 160 millimeters, while the width side to side is 127. The thickness of the heatsink itself from front to back is going to be 50 millimeters, whereas if you include the Silent Wings 3 fan, it will be about 72 millimeters thick. It's also got four copper heat pipes with an aluminum heatsink with a brushed aluminum top cover. The whole thing is coated black with ceramic particles, which enables really good heat transfer. Now overall, the cooler itself with the single fan will weigh out to about 620 grams, which is still pretty light for an air cooler. Now if you wanted to do a dual fan push-pull setup like I did here with two Silent Wings 3, then you're looking at about 95mm thickness altogether. So when I bought a second Silent Wings 3, the frame of the fan isn't quite the same as the one you get with the Dark Rock Slim. You will also get two different sets of mounting brackets on this fan if you buy it standalone. One set will have the rubber dampeners and the others won't. The brackets are easy to install and you just simply slide in like this. As for the mounting clips, the Dark Rock Slim Cooler does give you two pairs since they did expect some people to want to do dual fan setups. The Dark Rock Slim is rated at 180 watt TDP which should be enough to handle a stock 3950X no problem. Actually, overclocking headroom on Ryzen isn't really that huge, so even a slightly overclocked 3950X is still fine with this air cooler. So one comment that I want to make about this cooler is its installation process. Uh, I'm not going to cover the installation process here, I think that's going to be a, make the video unnecessarily long, but um, I feel like there was like one unnecessary step that didn't need to be there. Uh, it, not a big deal, but I thought I just thought it could be better. It's not great, not terrible. 3.6 out of 5. Comment down below if you know where that reference is from. Anyways, aside from the review, as I mentioned before, this video is to investigate the different types of fan configurations for this air cooler to see which one gives the best cooling performance. So we have dual fan push-pull versus single fan push versus, versus single fan pull. And I'm gonna show you guys some bars, some numbers, and uh, sound tests as well, okay? Now, keep in mind that these numbers and tests come from this one specific cooler uh, in an open air test bench. So numbers may vary with other builds and setups, but I wanna say for the most part, the logic can be applied to other similar coolers and builds. So let's take a look. Before I bring up the graphs, here's a quick look at the system specs, so feel free to pause this part if you want. If you haven't seen my build for this particular PC, I'll link it at the end of this video. 
I've got a 3900X with precision boost on, which gets me about 4.3 gigahertz average on normal operations and daily workflow. There's a B550 ITX motherboard, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a 2070 Super on an open air case. Let's take a look at the idle temperatures first. I mainly tested two settings on the Silent Wings 3 fans. We got the low 600 RPM being the silent mode and 1400 RPM being the max speed, which was all set in the BIOS. Now here are the results for the 600 RPM with a focus on quiet performance. So as you can see, there isn't much difference at all, if any, between the three fan configurations. Average temperatures are where we want to look at, and there's only a one degree drop from having dual fans while single fan push and single fan pull are basically the same. Moving on to the max speed 1400 RPM configurations. There's still not a whole lot of difference here. Push-pull gives you the lowest average temperature at 39 degrees C, while single fan pull gives you an average of 42 degrees C. So at max speed, you're going to get about a four to six degree drop from the low 600 RPM silent mode. But in terms of the difference between the fan configurations, you're really only looking at a one to two degree C delta. For CPU stress testing, I use Prime95 at smallest FFT for about 15 minutes per configuration setup test. Max temp during all three setups was at 78C, literally no difference. Average temperatures again were only getting a maximum of 2 degrees delta with the dual fan push-pull configuration giving the best results at 74 degrees C average. Alright, now let me show you the sound test for some of these fan setups. Note about the sound test. My recorded numbers and what you just heard also include the sound coming from the 2070 Super GPU fans, so it's not just the Dark Rock Slim cooler itself. Be Quiet's website and spec sheet will show you lower numbers, but those numbers are just for the cooler itself. In my test, I think it's a more realistic representation of what you would actually hear because, well, you would never run the CPU cooler by itself without the rest of the computer. Okay, after seeing the results, do I think it's worth it for push-pull configuration? Well, on smaller coolers like this, uh, no, not really. One to two degree difference, save yourself the extra 20, $25, put it towards something else. But if you're dealing with a larger cooler, for example, um, the Dark Rock 4 or the Dark Rock Pro 4, which literally requires more than one fan, um, or a 360 mil AIO liquid cooler, radiators that have thicker heat sinks, thicker radiators. Yes, a push-pull configuration, more fans in general will, you, you'll be able to benefit a lot more from that. But smaller coolers like this, thin low profile coolers, air coolers, just go with a single fan uh, and save some money, okay? Um, you can go dual fans if you just feel like if you can afford it, if it's not a problem. But yeah, I don't think it's really worth that money though. Okay, so hopefully that answers the question. That's it for this video. Thumbs if you liked it. Subscribe for more content from me. I really appreciate you watching. And as always, I will see you next time. Peace.